We've got some visitor tables in there. Almost. We can open that for you. You guys want to get out of here as well? I really wish that these guys wouldn't use this as like a main entrance. It's just like a separate entrance for visitation. It's just because we don't want visitors from the outside going through the prison. Seeing how badly we treat these guys. Because like we're going to be treating them pretty bad in here I think. Let's run that there. We're going to need to run power all the way over here. I need to some power in here. In here like this as well. And like this. Um, I think it'll be pretty good to have a shop, though. Like, at least they'll be able to spend some of their hard-earned money. Like, for working in the laundry and, you know, potentially a cleaning cupboard at some point as well. No? Maybe? No? Okay. The Cult of Genbo. Thank you very much for the sub. Also, Zadarin. 18 months, baby. Thank you very much. It's, um, good to have you back. Thank you. Oh, look, we got five grand. We completed visitation. Okay, let's dismantle these now. Because we don't want max sec visiting like this. We need the booths. It's a lot safer. We don't want any touching. We don't want any relatives touching the prisoners or giving them knives or anything like that. We've got problems already here. We don't need more problems. Okay. We're gonna have to spend a grand on, of course, a, um, whatchamacallit as well. Oh, actually, you know what? We should probably get some windows. Get some, like, large windows in here, too. Sure. Let's get a large window here. And here as well. Behind there. And, um... We're gonna have also a uh, metal detector. We're gonna need a couple of them up here. We're gonna need, um... That one covers there. That's fine. Uh, we could probably do with another one, like, maybe here. And then let's get another one here as well. Good. Okay. We're gonna need a light inside the parole room. We're gonna shine the light right above where the prisoner sits so that they get all sweaty and they feel like really oppressed while the thing is going on. Deployment wise, let's get a uh, guard deployed actually in the parole room. And we're gonna have um, a guard deployed to visitation as well. Okay, good. We're gonna need some more guards, but actually we need to hire two more anyway. Okay, now we have our 10 guards. We have to assign three guards to parole room. Patrol room, sorry. I got parole on my mind, sorry about that. Um, and I guess now we can go into, um, what is it again? Programs. Good. And we can do, um, oh, look, we can do the, uh, the, the drug treatment as well. We should probably do this. There's one in the queue. Uh, behavioral therapy would be a pretty good one as well. And let's also do, uh, parole hearings as well. Just in the morning is fine for now. 6 to 10 a.m. every day, we'll have a parole hearing. It'll be nice. Good. Uh, Willy Lambo, thanks so much for the 200 bits. Sorry I couldn't join you for Fishing Planet. Had guests to take care of. I heard you raged out yesterday, so I guess no more virtual fishing. Anyway, hope you can join you in a game some other time. There'll be more, Willy. Don't worry about it. Also, Bubsy646, thanks very much for the 200 bits. And hi to you too. Mike C. Peterson, thanks for the sub. Welcome aboard. Um, yeah, Willy Lambo will definitely do some more fishing. I just didn't feel like doing it again today. Just because we're doing this instead. Um, I don't know if we're gonna, like, run out of fucking money or what. I need five grand to put these booths in. Just about do it. I mean, I can get ten grand just from doing the, uh, patrol booths, right? Guard patrols. Let's do a guard patrol, like, here. Like this. And then let's get this guy off of here. Okay, that's another patrol route. Guard patrol, so we've got a patrol there. We're gonna have one in visitation as well, which is pretty good. And then I guess we're gonna want to have one like here for when the guys uh, start fucking going all nuts. Okay, there, 10 grand. Perfecto. Okay, so we want the we want the visitor booth. And we wanna set it up like this. We want a prisoner here and a visitor on the other side. It's gonna be just like in the wire. You know when they when when what's his face goes to meet up with uh, what's his face Weebay, Weebay's son and his mum come to visit and they're always complaining all the time. Like they're always complaining about like oh you know you gotta hold down the streets and Weebay's just like you know what I know what I'm doing okay and Avon's taking care of me in here and he's like Av or, or what's Weebay's wife or sorry ex-wife thinks that like he's weak and stuff. And then uh, that, you know, his son should, like, take over for him. But his son is, like, not up to it. Naaman. Is it Naaman? Was it Naaman? No? I can't remember. Anyway, 
I think it was Neiman actually, but possibly not. <clears throat> What's wrong with this guy? Oh, it's the psychologist and he's tired. Fucking a delicate flower, unbelievable. Why is he so fucking tired? Okay, we're gonna need some lights in here too. Um, let's get lights like here and here. And that should probably be, you know what, we'll get some back here too. Good. Okay, excellent. Set up a storage area so they clear those boxes out of the visitation room. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. We're gonna need one. Um, we could probably set up a storage area like down here with uh, all the rest of like the staff stuff. Um, that would be fine. And then um, they don't have to go out here every time to like the delivery. Well, they're still gonna have to, I guess, but still. It's a little bit better. Hey, look at this. This guy is like now patrolling and he's pissed off in the process. Not great. Is there any problems here? Oh yeah, this guy needs to get out because he had Okay, it's a new day. It's uh, 7 a.m. and these guys have just woken up. It'll be interesting to see actually now how pissed off people are. Okay, hygiene slowly going down. This is good. Freedom, still a little bit of a problem, but it's getting better. Recreation is like not not too bad right now. It's like slowly creeping up. Literacy is now becoming a, a bit, bit of a problem though. Even though we have all these books and stuff. Some of these guys are really desperate to become literate for whatever reason. I don't get it, but I, th I would think that that's a... I don't know if I can listen to Christmas spirit right now. That's better. That's much better. Hey, what's inside? what's inside this stew exactly? Hey, we just got a thousand bucks for prisoner intake. Wait, does that mean that this guy's gonna get out? Tom Lutheran? He's in here for 14 years for rape and he's potentially up for parole? There's no fucking way that that happens, is there? Oh look at we got a whole bunch of family members here visiting. It looks like a, like a family of priests or like, they're like Amish or something. Look at, why are these guys all so Amish looking? I don't get it crazy okay um all right so visitation that's good what's this guy complaining about now probably liter i bet you anything it's literacy and freedom of course of course it is these guys don't feel free enough already okay well they will pretty soon once they can get out and eat no every morning it's the same fucking problem look at this look where's this guy fucking going we're gonna have to do a fucking lockdown in a minute. He's trying to get out of here. Look at this. It took like three guys to fucking take him down. Where are these guys trying to go? Oh, they're going to their... I see, they're going to all their meetings. Oh my god. Oh, for fuck's sake! How the fuck did he get killed through a wall? Oh, for fuck's sake. Why are these guys never fucking happy? How much free time do they need? They've got two yards and free time. Why are they so fucking pissed off? Every day is the same. Oh, for fuck's sake. God, that is so fucking annoying. Oh, this guy's been released. Look, he's been released. He wants to come back in. I can't believe it. <laughs> this guy's in here, meant to be in here for 14 years on a rape charge and he's getting out. That's nuts. Alright, fine, we're gonna expedite his his release. Look, he wants to go out this way, it turns out. Nice. Okay, off you go. We got some money anyway. Man, fucking... Th this is fucking kind of dumb, though. Like, it, it's so stupid. Like, why... How do you get rid of the fucking need for freedom? Of course, like, they're not gonna be free. They're in fucking jail. It's so stupid. And every fucking morning now, they're gonna try to kill each other as a result of this. Is it because they're just locked up for too long in the morning? Maybe we have to move some of this shit forward, like... Maybe we have to get them out eating, like, almost straight away. And then we have to put, like, more yard time. There we go. Let's try that. Let's try that and see how it goes. Fuck's sake. Now we've lost a member of staff, as well as a fucking prisoner. Oh god, I'm so annoyed about that. It's really fucking annoying. Jesus Christ. Okay, visitation is now set up. We can make some money off getting some grants. So cell block A is uh, ongoing, but we can get that pretty much anytime we want. 
Um, dog handlers and armed guards. We could use with the we could use the fifteen thousand advance payment to get this, and we're going to be doing it pretty soon. Um, prisoner acclimatization we can do after. I mean, we could just go straight for reform through education, but that's going to be forty grand completion. It takes forever to do that one though. Maybe we just do this. We already have the kitchen one done. Or sorry, the laundry one done. It would just be cleaning cover, but I don't want any prisoners working in the kitchen. That's the, that's the only thing. Because, like, they just get knives from there, and then at least, like, all of the deaths that have been caused so far have just been from fists. <laughs> at least that's something, right? That's the silver lining. No? Okay. Scribbles Angel, thanks very much for the sub. Welcome aboard. And Sinister Mephisto 22, thanks for the 200 bits. They need free time straight away in the morning. Yeah, but it's it's a it's it's a catch 22 because if they get free time straight away in the morning, they're not going to go to the bathroom, and then they're just going to fight about needing to go to the bathroom and hygiene issues as well. So like, you can't win. ZFH biceps, thanks very much for the 300 bits. What would your prison name be for this one? I don't know actually. I haven't really thought about it. I haven't thought about a. It's all every fucking day. There's five fucking people in solitary because of this morning royal rumble that seems to happen. So what are you saying? Like first thing, 7 a.m. They just need free time straight away before they eat. And if they have that free time, they'll just go and do the things that they want to do, and that's going to alleviate some of their freedoms. You can try it. They'll address their most needed thing during free time and put toilets everywhere as well. Yeah, no. I mean, we're gonna need fucking to do that. Hang on a second. I just have to put someone straight here. Oh. Anyway. Okay. So, parole, good. We don't have anyone up for parole right now. Um, I don't think we have- oh yeah, shit, we wanted to get some informants. Do we have anyone who could potentially become an informant? No. Okay, none of these guys can potentially become informants. And it doesn't look like we have any ex-law enforcement or snitches that we know of yet. We might find out about them later, but for now, it's probably okay. Okay, so these guys are coming out of solitary now. Good. It looks like people are actually doing work in the laundry for once. This is pretty nice. Let's see how everybody's needs are doing right now. Recreation is a little bit of a problem, becoming more so a problem. Freedom, oh wow, actually we're getting it, like, we're chipping into it a bit. It's going into, like, the yellow now. Oh, warmth. Shit, I forgot about warmth. Okay, we need to get some, um, we need to take a look at this, actually. Temperature. It's really cold. It's only 14 degrees Celsius right now. It's pretty bad. Okay, let's get some, um, whatchamacallits in here then. We're gonna need some radiators to warm this place up. Let's get one, like, here. Um, we're gonna get one possibly, like, here as well. Will that warm up, like, this part? Let's get one, like, here. Hopefully just putting them in the hallways will just warm up, like, the rest of the rooms. Like, that would be pretty good. Oh my god. Fucking more Christmas jazz, Jesus. Okay, let's put one there too. Let's just see if that works. Okay, and let's get one down in here as well. We're gonna get a radiator like down here as well. Hopefully, that's good coverage to keep everybody more or less warm. Uh, we're gonna need a radiator in most of these little buildings as well. The staff room's gonna need one. Put one just like right here. Kitchen probably does not need one. Uh, we could probably do with having one in the office. We're gonna put it right next to the foreman's desk so that he gets all sweaty and stuff. It's gonna be hilarious. Let's get one in here as well in security. Uh, and then we'll hook them all up. We just spent a whole bunch of money on radiators. Hey, look at this guy. Alexander Goebbels just playing pool by himself. And now Tim Steele is playing pool by himself as well. It's nice. Okay, hot water pipes. We should have hot water pipes to hook up here. That's good. Hot water. Um, we got one hooked up to there. That's nice. We're gonna probably need to have another water boiler around here somewhere. But where? Water boiler. Um, utilities. Water boiler. 
Um, we could maybe put one outside here. That, that could work. I don't want anybody, like, killing people, like, on the water boiler, but just put one in the yard. Who cares? It's fine. And then that can service, like, most of this area here. Okay, so we're gonna need a small pipe to lead up to it. We need an electrical cable as well. And then we're gonna need a hot water pipe coming out of this bitch. Down here, like this. To here. And then up here to here as well. This can get hooked up from here. That one's hooked up. These ones might be able to be hooked up from down here, possibly. Oh no, what's- oh yeah, that's a shulker. We're gonna need another boiler, like, around here, too. I guess we could put one, like, in this hallway. Just hide it here. That should be fine, actually. Let's do that. Let's get some power to it. And then the hot water pipe can come off here. Go like this. Go like this. And then go all the way down here. We're gonna have to hook up all of these. Um, and then we have uh, one that needs to go down here. I don't know if this is gonna be like... I don't know if that'll work, you know. That's gonna be way too far. We can maybe get another one like just out here. God damn it. Just another added complexity, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know why I put all this weather stuff on, actually. Okay, let's do that. And then we have to have a pipe that leads up to here. Like so. And then we're gonna need hot water going to here. And also into here, too. Is that okay? Gotta go see Sips. Alright, Ardenator. See you later. Guys, stop fighting over dick. There's plenty to go around. I don't. What, what are you guys even betting on right now? Have you ever tried making a luxury prison, Sips? Every cell has everything they could want. Make it more of a hotel than a prison? No. I don't want to treat these guys nice. They're in here for, like, fucking terrible crimes. Hell no. That's not what we're about here. We're making people face up to the consequences of their crimes. Like this guy here, Mark Fletcher, 29 years old. He's in here 41 years for perjury, violent disorder, torture, and murder. You think I'm gonna be giving this guy every luxury under the sun? Hell no, G.I. Joe, I'm not gonna be doing that. That's right, I'm gonna make his life a living fucking hell. That's right, he's gonna be in solitary confinement like all the goddamn time. Him and his stupid friends here that just every morning are so upset. Betting on whether anyone dies. So oh. far, we're two for two, Lulu. Oh. When you rage out, think about playing shadow tactics again. I could do. Oh, okay. Sorry, Mike. Cool. Thanks for the uh, bits, by the way, as well. Uh, so far, we're two for two. Nice. Cat, catty, cat, catty. Thank you very much for the sub. Welcome. Cat Mado, thanks for the 300 bits. Thank you. Holy shit, a Saturday stream and it's Prison Architect. Am I in Sips Heaven? Maybe. For both Twitch, thank you very much for the sub, too. Welcome. Um, and Anonymous, thanks for the donation. This regime is working quite well for Max Sec. Let me take a look at that, actually. Hang on a sec. So, in your regime, you have uh, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. free time. Then you've got work free time uh, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Then they eat. Oh, so they don't eat first thing in the morning. Interesting. Okay. Then they eat from 1 till 3. And then from 3 till 5, they're in the yard. And then from 5 until 8, they're work free time. And then they eat again from 8 until 10. And then at 10, they have some free time. And then they go to bed at 11. Okay, I'm gonna keep messing around with mine to see if I can sort of achieve more or less the same thing. I think I'm not too far from this, but I see. So you've got normal security has work and free time and then maximum security just has work and lock up, I see. So you have them working. I guess I could do work and lock up here as well. Keep them busy all day long. It's like a lot of jobs. I guess we could get them cleaning and stuff so that we don't need to hire more janitors. They could just keep the whole place clean. It'd be pretty good. Okay, how is our temperature looking in here now? It's looking pretty good, actually. These ones aren't hooked up yet, but they're in the middle of being hooked up. Okay, nice. So warmth should not be a, a need anymore for most of the prisoners, at least. Staff needs, we're fine. Recreation is becoming high. Eight staff def desperately want this need fulfilled. I guess we need to put a pool table in the staff room. That's fine, we can do that. Warmth and rest. Coming a bit of a problem too. They're like critical. 
everything else. Bladder, bowels, food, safety, comfort is all medium, so that's fine. So freedom is just really the big problem. There's four prisoners that are furious that they can't meet this need for whatever reason. What are we coming up to now? More yard time in a minute. It might not be enough though. This guy is in solitary for quite some time. His, uh, he's suppressed right now. But his pri he needs freedom and exercise, which he's not getting. So he's probably gonna be, the minute he gets back to his cell, he's gonna be, probably be pretty fucking pissed off. Shit, that sucks. Okay. Alright, we're gonna finish up these jobs. Let's see, what else do we need to actually be working on right now? I guess we could get legal started? Oh yeah, we wanna get, um, we wanna get our armory set up as well, so we can get tasers, right? We're gonna need two armed dogs and two armed guards and two dog handlers on a patrol. I mean, we can get 20 grand straight away just by having our prisoner capacity upped. I don't want to spend the money on this just yet, though. But I guess, like, to have it back is, like, pretty good. We have another maximum security prisoner showing up in nine hours. That's to replace the guy that died, I guess. Fuck's sake. Unbelievable. Eight slash nine nature nine hundred and twenty seven red paladin lf heroic toes. Right, um, Belenoff, thanks very much for five hundred bits. I don't know what that means. I, I, oh, you're looking for. Oh, hang on a second. I see. Okay, your your item level is nine twenty seven. Your red paladin. You're looking for a heroic um, tos. In in wow. Okay. Well, hopefully somebody answers your call. Good, actually. Um, so do we want to make a cleaning cupboard down here for the prisoners to work in? I suppose we could. Let's get a door here. Cleaning cupboard. So we're not gonna have enough guys to actually do any of these jobs. Where's the cleaning cupboard? Cleaning cupboard. There it is. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Let's get a light in here as well. And, um, let's, um, get some guys working here, shall we? Cleaning cupboard. Prison labor. It's not quite ready yet, because the door isn't here. As soon as we get a door, we're in business, baby. How many? We have ten prisoners currently. How many are working in the laundry? Seven. So three of them can work in here. Good. Okay, let's take this grant then. Because we're almost there. Just need to do the kitchen one. Prisoner acclimatization and engagement. Good. You get 10 grand for that as well. So we just need to assign three prisoners to work in the kitchen. Which uh, I think we can just cheat at, actually. Kitchen. Okay, we did it. That was it. We just cheated big time and we did it. It's one of the biggest cheats I've ever done. What is this? Two little nubs here. Okay, so uh, the staff room needs a pool table. Okay, and they're gonna need uh, some more wide sofas as well. So let's get a couple set up here. And then in between these sofas, let's have like a radio. That'll give them something to listen to. And um, what else would they need in here? Radio. Maybe a TV or something. Do they need like a nice TV set up? They can get the large TV, it's 500 bucks. We got a lot of money now. Let's get the fucking large TV in here. Okay, good. Now they can watch some TV too. That's nice, okay. So that's the staff needs pretty much covered. Warmth is uh, not gonna be a problem for them either because they got the radiator. Let's just double check now and see what the temperature's like everywhere. It's like 20 degrees in there, that's pretty good. 20 degrees, 20 degrees. Nice, it's about 15 degrees in the reception. Visitation is uh, really cold too. So let's get a uh, radiator inside visitation. Get it like back here. It's because it's got windows, I think. And then we're gonna need one inside the reception as well. It's not a problem. Okay, utilities then. We need a hot water pipe to go to. Oh, okay, it's right there. It's like right here, isn't it? Okay, good. And then where was this one? It's like here in line with that cell door. Okay. So it's like there. I don't know if that's gonna stretch, but we'll see. Okay, so the prison should be nice and warm now. 
Holy crap, we're losing a lot of money. We really need a, like a bigger intake. Uh, another thing we can start working on now that we have money is uh, legal. And then we can go for small cells. And then we can increase our prisoner capacity uh, through the small cells. We'll just jam them in there. And then we should probably make just a cell block. Like a, just a separate cell block. We'll make it outside. We'll make it so that they can get into here, but they have to like go outside to do it. Um, or should, should it be outside? Or should it just be like back here, attached here? We could just do that. And we could do cell block A and cell block B at the same time, maybe. Just change three of your solitary cells to normal cells, get the 20 big ones. Yeah, no, I could do that, actually. That's not a bad idea. There's no toilets inside solitary, uh, which there need to be. I don't know why I didn't set up toilets in here. But yeah, no, that's a really good idea, Mikel TN. Thanks very much for the donation as well. Um, for the 20, 20 big ones. I mean, we're not desperate for the 20 big ones right now, though. That's the thing. It's not, we're not, because we've got 32 grand right now, so it's not bad. Okay. Let's see about doing some planning here. I think we should, I think we need to move these guys out of here, because they're so close to the edge here. It's easy for them to tunnel out. I feel like we get rid of these cells here after we get small cells and we move everybody into like a really big cell block over here. But I think one thing that can help with freedom is them having windows. So I think the cell block should just be its own building and every cell should have a window looking out for max sec. Agreed? No? Is camera really delayed for audio or just me tried refreshing but it didn't work? Um, it seems fine to me. I don't know. I mean, sometimes the, you want me to like restart my cam? Hang on a second. Tell me if this works for you, okay? What are your thoughts on Dan leaving YouTube? Do you have okay. any future plans to do any more content with him? Um, Maybe a collab stream? I, I'm not sure, Elinoff. Um, I mean, I, I could ask him if he wants to do some stuff. I was on that stream with him. I, I met him and hung out with him a bit at uh, CoxCon. And that was nice too. Um, I can ask him, see what he wants to do. Is he is he actually for real leaving YouTube? Like, is he just done with it? He's just gonna stream instead, or um, is he just taking a break? I was under the impression that he was just taking a break, like for a month or whatever. I know he's like pretty pissed off with it and stuff, but I didn't think he was actually leaving. Um, I hope he doesn't. I mean, he makes some good content. This stuff's pretty funny. It's a really nice guy too, actually. So it was really nice to meet him. The delay is a little better, but still a slight delay. Uh, I don't know. At least a live stream. The Sips RP would be perfect for Mountain Blade. Yeah, we we could try doing that. He's taking a break, but expecting to not come back. He's gonna keep streaming. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's um, it's a it's a it's a tricky one. Streaming is much different um, to YouTube, and in. In some ways it's less work, but in some ways it's maybe just as much work. I mean, it's still camera time, right? You're constantly talking. You want to have, you want to like be somewhat entertaining, I guess, and have things to say. So like, you gotta be like switched on to do it, sort of thing. You know, it's not like, it's not, it's not effortless, but you don't have the overheads of needing to edit stuff. Um, having people to help you with that kind of stuff. You don't need to have, like, you don't need to schedule stuff to go up. You don't, whatever, you know, like, you just, you don't even really need a stream schedule if you don't want one. Just stream whenever you want to. But, like, I don't know, I guess, like, the, the, the down, the downside to it is that anytime you do want to take some time off, you potentially just, you know, losing money, I guess. Because you don't have, like, YouTube's great because if you want to take, like, two weeks off, you can easily just prepare for that, get some content ready, put it in a schedule, put it up to cover your two weeks. Streaming, you can't really do that. But it, uh, maybe it doesn't matter. You know, maybe like you just take the hit, it doesn't matter. 